Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to use them in your Blender. So what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, first off, you're gonna wanna download the um, use them tools. I put them off the Google Drive and I put put them in the uh, description of the video. You're gonna go to Preferences, right? Install, go to your uh, Downloads folder and install the uh, UDEM Farming New uh, Zip. You don't have to unzip it, just do it like that. Then go to Giants. Or then look up giant or giants. Then uh, check the import export uh, tool right here. You may have to restart your blender. I am not sure, but if you do, go ahead and restart it now. Then, all right. So once you do that, you're gonna want to assign materials. So if you're importing like a pre-existing model or whatever, you're gonna want to go to here. Then blender file, right? And you're going to want to come down here to uh, where is it? materials, but obviously there isn't one. Here's materials, right? Then you're just going to want to delete. Okay. Then once you do that, say, okay, for my case right now, I want to use these two cubes. Okay. So I create a material, which is down here. Actually, wait, before we do, can do that. If you hit tab, right, you bring up this. And if there's like blue lines, you want to come up here to edge, then clear sharp. Then once you do that, Come back down here to this uh, triangle, geometry data, and clear custom split normal data. That will uh, fix any like shading errors and all that stuff. Then, all right, once we get done with that, you're going to want to come down here to this like sphere below said triangle. Hit new. Right, that will bring a new material. However, since we already have material inside the blender space, we can just hit that, the material right there. For this case, let's name it cube, cube one, okay? And make that, let's say, yellow, or green. Then come over here to cube two, make a new material called cube two. Okay. Base color, blue, okay? Then you want to come here, UV editing, okay? Hit tab on this, smart UV project, unwrap. Color zero, which is that one. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. You're going to want to hit Smart UV Project, right? Unwrap. Then you're going to want to expand this over here. You'll get color zero right then do that for this one hit you smart uv project color zero also the way you move around in blender is hold shift the middle mouse button and move it wherever you want to go you could do it up here but that's very tedious okay now we're gonna let's just join them together file export i3d then export it to whatever you want to or whatever file you're editing or whatever. Okay. That error, don't worry about. All right. Now, let me show you how to add two or like two colors under one vehicle shader. So what you're going to want to do, I pretty much do exactly what we just did up until the pretty much the unwrap. So for this, say I want to make this green, right, the secondary color. Smart UV project again. And do color one, okay? Come over here to this one, Smart UV Project again, color zero, right? Then you're gonna hit join, join those together, and just delete the material. It's gonna show up as the same color, but that's fine. Then you're gonna wanna file, export I2D, name it to whatever you want to. Okay, come back to here. These logs just tell you what going on during exporting they're fine you can delete them it doesn't matter then you're going to want to open it to blender or up in giant editor <laughs> put this open of course okay then that error that doesn't matter i've just haven't upgraded it yet okay you're going to want to come over here to shape receive cast shadow map okay make sure you have the two materials you have cube one and cube two now for gloss map right here, come over here, click that, navigate to your where like your farming simulator is downloaded, 
So it's for me, it's program files, Steam apps, Steam, Steam apps, Steam Layer 19, data, shared. Then you're going to want to look at default. Then you see default specular right here. You're going to want to do that. That's for cube one material. So come down here, vehicle shader, right? Pretty much it should default to the shared. All you got to do is go back to the data. Or via the shaders, type in V or whatever you want, the vehicle shader, then select color mask. If all goes well, it should go yellow. So then I'll have a PDF in the description to tell you what, like the this right here does, just like zero makes it shiny, all that stuff. So look for right now, let's make it 0.5. Boom, 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 boom. That make it gray and shiny. Okay. Then do the same. Cube 2, uh, shared, default specular, then shaders, vehicle shader, color mask, and 0.5, and yeah, there you go. Then if you want to make something a window, what you do, say we want to make this right here a window, okay, remove that the shader or whatever also you can add normal maps it doesn't matter but if you want to make your mod more clean what you want to do for normal map is just come to shared right default and look at default normal but for our case want to <laughs> do our beta map right here come to shared then look at clear glass 0302 or whatever or I, I do 03, so that way there's some window tint. Then it'll not be glass. What you want to do is come down here to auto blending. There you go. You'll have glass, but yeah, see, glass. Okay. That shares how you do different materials. Now, under one material, it's different. Let's see. All right. So. Cast receive shadow map, then gloss map, default specular, then down here, shaders, vehicle shader, then color map. If all goes well, they should be two different colors. Yeah. Okay, then, right? If you remember, we did color like zero, then color one. And you just edit that, boom, one, see, until that. And you edit whatever you need to. Boom, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. 